All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania showroom today. And we are going to introduce to you our next addition to our inventory, a 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396. And yes, this is a true SS numbers match 396 Chevelle. So as we go over, just keep that in mind. Again, that's going to be your options that you're most you know wanting in a car like this so again the all black exterior very very nice in this car nice smooth shiny paint all the way around the body lines on this car all as just about as good as you could possibly ask for in a vehicle like this and all the panels super straight down the sides all the way around as you can see our chevelle it's obviously got the original ss uh, hood on it it's got the scoops on it with the vents on top that's all looking very good on this car all of our bright work the chrome bumpers um, all the emblems wheel lip moldings drip rail moldings rocker moldings all of that stuff is in very good shape as you can see as we walk around the car now again our Chevelle does have the proper badging on it it's got the 396 turbojet cross flag emblems on the front fender Top those wheel lip moldings and the rocker moldings along the bottom. For wheels and tires, these are all 15 inch wheels, American Racing, Torque Thrust 2, polished aluminum wheels. And for tires, BF Goodrich Radial TA tires, all great condition. 235 60R15s on the front, 255 60R15s out on the back of the car. Now, again, you can see gaps on this car. The doors here with the front fenders and the gaps back here at the rear quarter panel all again in very nice uh, adjustment here again all your body lines all match up elevations with the front fender and quarter panels all in alignment and as i said body is super straight the whole way down the side of the car now when you get to the glass again this glass is in great shape too no chips or cracks anywhere in any of this glass uh, you can see all of your trim around the windows, your drip rail moldings here, even around your vent window, all of that is in good condition. Our Chevelle has both driver's side and passenger side mirror. Chrome on those mirrors is in great shape, along with the glass in them as well. Even your door handles, no pitting whatsoever here. These things are polished up nice and look really good. Let's open our door. We're going to take a quick peek inside while we're on this side. You can see inside it's got the split bench seat up front. All seat belts are there, factory dash, factory gauges, even has the clock and the instrument cluster there. It does have an aftermarket tack there mounted just to the left of the column. Uh, and then it does have the factory AM radio, factory heater controls. Does have a three gauge cluster aftermarket down underneath the heater controls. That's going to contain your oil pressure, water temperature, and voltmeter gauge. Of course it's got the four speed shifter on the floor it does have an aftermarket uh, steering column there it is a chromed column looks very nice along with the factory steering wheel there with the ss horn button and that is a tilt column as well so it's going to give you the adjustability if you're a bigger guy a smaller guy no matter what you're going to be able to adjust that for your liking um, as far as your seals and your weather stripping here at your door and your windows all of that looks brand new basically no rips or tears anywhere and again all nice and soft rubbers all the way around on this car door panels all in great shape carpeting upholstery all the same thing in good condition and we'll see that from the under other side also when we get to that side again the door shuts nice and easy we'll walk back along the quarter it's super straight you got your super sport emblems back here on the rear quarter panel again very good condition here as we come to the back of the car you can see the chrome bumper here again no pitting whatsoever on the bumper that looks great of course on your tail panel you'll see the ss 396 emblems your tail lights uh, the lenses and bezels all the way around all look good the bright work looks good where they need to be painted those are all in great shape too trunk lid you can see how well that trunk fits too all of your gaps the whole way around elevations with the quarter panels and this rear deck panel here all in alignment with one another your rear window again in great shape there's no chips or cracks anywhere 
And again, your bright work, your molding around the window, all looks very nice on this car. Now we will go in the trunk, take a quick peek there. So the first thing is the key works the lock, that all functions well. Your underside of your trunk here painted that same black as the exterior of the car. Nice and shiny underneath here. Uh, as far as your trunk weather stripping, you can see that all complete. No, no chunks, no rips, no tears anywhere. Meets here in the center. It's going to seal up very well from the outside elements. Inside the trunk, we've got a full-size spare tire mounted on a wheel. Now, it's not a matching wheel, but again, if you have a, the, uh, a situation arise that you need a spare, it's going to get you going there uh, in, a, in a pinch. Uh, as far as the trunk itself, the floor is in great shape. We'll see that from the other side, underside of the car. Uh, and then as far as the trunk mat, it's got a nice carpeted trunk mat in it. It's got a set of nice Chevelle uh, floor mats there. And it's got the bumper jack in there too. So all of that is all right here, right in the trunk. Again, the trunk shuts nice and easy. The other thing real quick here, we do have a set of, uh, these are Flowmaster uh, slash cut oval exhaust tips that poke out right underneath that rear bumper. Again, a real nice touch for that dual exhaust that's underneath there too. As far as the passenger side, not going to bore you with going over all the same old, same old. You can see it's got all the matching emblems side to side, wheels, tires, all that stuff. We get to the door here as far as the glass on the passenger side. Again, no chips, no cracks whatsoever. All of your molding as far as your drip rails go, those are all in great shape. Willet moldings, all the same stuff there. In the rain gutter itself, nice and smooth through there also. Gaps on your door, back side as well as front side. Again, very uniform on the passenger side of the vehicle. And your passenger side mirror, the chrome in great shape along with the glass there. Let's open it up from this side. That way you've seen it from both sides now. And again, you'll just take note of the interior, the dash, the carpeting, the upholstery. Again, no rips or tears in the upholstery. No rips or fading in the carpeting. No cracks in the dash panel itself. Again, everything is all in very nice condition on this vehicle. As li Like I said uh, earlier there, it's got all of the seat belts. They all have the GM emblems on those, so everything matches. So we'll close this up. Again, your seals and everything, same thing. Those are all in great shape. Soft seals, soft rubbers, everything. It's going to seal up really nice from the outside elements. And again, we come to the front of the car here after seeing all the matching emblems and trim. As we get to the nose of the car now, again, you're going to see just your typical 67 Chevelle front grille here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Nice chrome front grille here. Got the SS396 emblems right in the center. Nice chrome front bumper. Again, you've got the bright work, the trim right along the leading edge of the hood, along with your Chevelle badging on that corner of that hood. Again, as we mentioned, this is a steel hood. It's the SS hood with your vents here up on top. All of that's in great shape. You can see the gaps, the elevations, the whole entire fitment of the hood looks very good on this car. Windshield's in great shape. Nice set of wipers here. Again, all of the finish on everything. Very nice in this car. So we get to the engine, transmission, all of that stuff now. So we're gonna reach underneath here and find, there it is, hood latch. And now that we've got the hood open, we'll notice the underside of the hood all painted that same shiny black paint as the rest of the car. You can see all the hood insulation properly installs as it should be, and it all looks great too. There is not a mark in this hood insulation. And that's going to help keep the heat from getting to the paint on that hood. Uh, again, when we get to the engine here, now this is where we can talk about the numbers matching portion of this car. So this is, as I said, a numbers matching 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet motor. This is the motor this car was born with. Uh, as far as components on the motor, you can obviously see it's got a chrome air cleaner and chrome valve covers. A couple of breathers there with SS badging on those. Um, it has a, uh, looks like a reusable style air filter here. And then underneath that, we've got a uh, four barrel carburetor there too. It's a dual feed. 
As far as the ignition, looks like it's been upgraded slightly to an HEI ignition on there. Of course, it looks like we've got a set of upgraded wires, and these are Excel super stock wires. Just trying to look for a size on those. Those are eight millimeter plug wires. So again, with the upgraded ignition, that's gonna get you a lot better spark there. Four barrel carburetor, obviously you're gonna get a lot better fuel delivery there too, along with an aluminum intake. That always helps with fuel delivery and air delivery too. Um, as far as the rest of the components on the motor, it's got a chrome alternator, chrome alternator bracket, polished aluminum water pump. It's got an upgraded belt drive system on the front of it. Uh, so instead of running just your V-groove pulleys, you've got kind of that serpentine belt type style um, front drive assembly on the car. Of course, it's got an aluminum radiator there. Again, that's gonna cool your motor a lot more efficiently being aluminum. Got the shroud on her along with a flex fan there too. It's got a billet aluminum uh, reservoir here for your uh, radiator. So your excess uh, antifreeze, that's where that's gonna be stored. Got the windshield washer fluid bottle still attached to it. Power steering, power brake car. Now it's power uh, front disc, rear drums. You can see it's got the chrome booster, chrome master cylinder there also. So again, all of that looks very nice underneath here. And as far as headers to help this thing breathe, it's got a set of Headman headers here. These are uh, ceramic coated long tube headers dual exhaust the whole way back through with a set of Flowmaster style mufflers and of course we just showed you those slash cut oval tip Flowmaster exhaust tips back there. Alright so we are now standing underneath our 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS and this is yes a real SS numbers match car here with the engine that's in it. So we're going to start as we do with this car uh, all of our cars here as a matter of fact underneath it going from front to back on it, going over the drive line, steering, suspension, braking, frame, floors, all of those components that we always do, we're going to do that right now with this car. So starting up front here, we're going to go over the suspension. So not your typical front suspension here. Again, it is going to retain pretty much the stock geometry, just a little better, a little stronger components up front. So we're going to have all tubular components here tubular upper control arms and tubular lower control arms along with the front sway bar. Now your front sway bar, all of your sway bar bushings at the frame and at the sway bar end links, those are all in great shape on this car. Uh, especially these uh, control arms, these are in fantastic condition. Ball joints on them, excellent condition as well. Springs and shocks, great shape up there as well. Now steering on this car, it is power steering. Of course, your steering arms on this car just to the front sides here of the control arms, but all of those are nice and straight. Ball joints are all in good shape. All the little rubber dust boot coat covers, those are all intact on this car. And again, you can tell everything's been greased and maintained very well on this vehicle. Now, as far as the braking system on the car, power brakes. We've got disc brakes up front, drum brakes out on the rear of the car and it does retain all of the cables for the emergency brake. It is all hooked up and all functional as well. Um, and as we're talking about out here at the ends here, we might as well just go over wheels and tires too on the car. Wheels, um, these are American uh, Racing Torque Thrust 2 polished aluminum wheels, both front and rear, 15 inch front and rear. And then as far as the tires go, they are BF Goodrich Radial TAs. We've got two 35 60R15s on the front and two 55 60R15s out on the back of this vehicle. We'll come in just a little bit now and we'll talk about the drive line next. So as I said here just a little bit ago, this is the numbers matching 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine here. Back behind that, we do have the Muncie M21 four speed manual transmission, both transmission and the engine around the oil can, all very nice and dry, free from any leaks or drips that I can see. Even when looking at the tail shaft on the transmission, the seal at the back here, that is nice and dry where your drive shaft fits up into it there. Of course, you've got your uh, tail shaft cross member here. That's in good shape. The actual mount for it also in good condition as well. Of course, it does have your bell housing, obviously, um, on there, and the bell housing is in good shape. That looks to be an aluminum bell housing as well. 
far as the exhaust system here that we see, uh, we're just kind of working our way back here. We've got long tube headers. These are ceramic coated long tube headers, dual exhaust all the way back here till we get to the dual mufflers. Uh, now these look to be uh, like a set of Flowmaster style mufflers. Can't quite see a name on the bottoms. They might be rotated up around the top, but that's what those look like to me. Of course, tailpipes up over top of the rear end housing, exiting out the back, right underneath the rear load, or the bumper out back with a nice set of slash cut oval exhaust tips back there. Far as uh, the rest of the drive line now, we've got our drive shaft here. It's a balanced unit. Uh, and then we have our rear end here. This is a GM 12 bolt rear end. It is a posi unit in here, 373 gear. Also has a nice chrome differential cover on it back here as well. Far as the rear suspension, slightly modified back here, but again, retains all the stock geometry, just stronger components. And that is all tubular control arms back here as well. Uppers and lowers are all tubular on this car. It does have a set of Monroe Sensor Track coilover rear shocks on the car, so the ride's going to be very nice back here. Then, of course, we've got our fuel tank back here as well. All the mounting hardware, the straps, and so forth, those are all in good shape. Now, as far as the frame and floors, again, your Chevelle, it's your full frame car. Frame rails on this thing, nice and straight, super straight and square the whole way back through the car. And as far as the floors go, I don't see any patching of the floors. Everything looks great. You can see all the bracing, all the stamping lines and all of the floors. The only thing that I do see is over here in the floor here where your transmission is. It does look like, like, like they've notched out here for that four speed, the shifter anyways on it. So your linkages and everything all clear there. So that's the only thing there. Um, brake lines and fuel lines are all run nice and neat right along those frame, uh, frame rails. The uh, pinch welds and the rockers on the car look great also. So with that said, we're all done underneath here. We're gonna lower this down off of the lift now. Go ahead underneath the hood, fire that big block Chevy up.